Greetings everyone. Uh, the topic of this video is how pure HMO prebiotic powder impacted bacteria strains for a consumer. This is a case study. You might call it an anecdotal study. And on the Layer Origin YouTube page, I have many videos that do something similar in regard to testing of my own gut or family or friends and uh, also using uh, HMO powder and seeing really amazing results. And, and this one is equally amazing. In this case, this is just a consumer that gave the his uh, his or her uh, pre-HMO uh, and post-HMO uh, gut tests, sent them into uh, Layer Origin so that we could uh, uh, take a, a deeper dive into them. And the most notable is this 25x increase in bifidobacterium. Now notice it's not 25%, 25x or 25 times. So that equals, in this case, it's a little greater than 2,500% increase in bifidobacteria. So let's look at, let's look at those results. Uh, we see the before taking HMO in the blue and after taking HMO in the orange, you see increase. Uh, really, you can put this, the main results into two categories as I see it. One is the increase in bifidobacterium, which I'll talk about in a moment. And the other would be increases in bacteria that produce butyrate. Butyrate is a, a leading short chain fatty acid that is extremely beneficial to have more of that. And in this case, you've got uh, toward the left there, a blauchia. All of these are butyrate producing bacteria. Blauchia, eubacterium, faecalobacterium, roseburia, ruminococcus, and acylobacter species. All of those produce uh, butyrate and all of them increased uh, to some level. And also the bifidobacterium, which does not produce, it produces other short chain fatty acids, uh, does not produce butyrate, but is extremely beneficial. Anti-inflammatory, it produces, uh, among other things, lactic acid, which uh, pathogenic bacteria do not like. And so it, it can decrease, as it increases, it can decrease um, some of the pathogenic bacteria. I've seen that uh, over and over again. And in my own case, I've mentioned before in videos that my, I have slight asthma and if my bifido is at a healthy level, my asthma is essentially gone, except for occasional exercising. Uh, but if it's lower, if, I, if I've done tests and see it's lower, then uh, there's, there's an inflammatory response in my body and, and it produces some, some asthmatic symptoms. So here is the same result in chart form. And here's a remarkable thing that this consumer only took HMO for 23 days. So all those increases happened after only just a, uh, about three weeks, basically. And that's two scoops per day or four grams uh, per day. And you see there in the bifidobacterium line, 2,582% increase. Now, uh, you know, obviously it started very low. So it, it's easier when something is that low to have a more dramatic increase. Nevertheless, to go from almost no bifidobacteria to well over 1% is a very healthy, uh, very healthy increase. And then all the other butyrate producing bacteria that I mentioned before also on that list. But all this happening with only 23 days of taking HMO. And in my still somewhat limited experience, but um, what I have seen is that the longer you stay in HMO, the more these will go up. So I, I don't know if this consumer will want to take a third test at some point in the future, but I'd love to see a month or two out to see how much more this has increased. And uh, some people might not realize that you can actually test your gut at home. Uh, there's a lot of at home type blood tests and so forth nowadays, but it's really simple. And the two that I have used are Ombre and Tiny Health. Uh, Ombre is uh, definitely the cheapest. Uh, about $120. You can get coupon codes for that. And um, it gives a very sufficient, a very reliable result. Uh, I've also used Tiny Health. It's a, it's a different sort of test. It does a much deeper dive. It can go all the way down to subspecies level, also very reliable, but it's more expensive. Uh, but you might want to check out either of those. Uh, but it's a simple 
um, at home test, not, not, not messy or gross as you might think. And uh, you can get results in three to four weeks. I've mentioned this chart before, but uh, I, I, as much as I can, try to practice what, what I've termed the gut farmer diet. You know, you think about an actual garden. Let's say you want to uh, grow some jalapeno peppers. Well, you need, you need a good plant. Um, in this case, the, the, the plant that we are growing are good bacteria. You need good food for that. Uh, and in this case, those are the uh, prebiotics. And then, um, if and then, of course, you need good soil. And in, in the case of, of a gut farmer diet, the, your gut is the actual soil. And then, again, back to the jalapeno pepper. If all things go well, you get some really great uh, uh, results. You know, fruit um, from that plant in, in the form of, of, of tasty, uh, spicy peppers. Uh, and the same thing here: prebiotics, uh, HMO powder from Layer Origin is a prebiotic powder and um, that that feeds the gut especially uh, bifidobacteria but uh, but diet is is absolutely key i've often said you can't out supplement you can't out exercise a bad diet so diet soluble fi fibers polyphenols other things that can feed these probiotic healthy bacteria uh, and then of course you can also consume probiotics in the in in the sense of eating fermented food or some people take probiotic capsules um, to to help them seed that's part of seeding the gut and then what you're aiming at ultimately not only but the main thing you're aiming at is what is called postbiotics that's the metabolites of the bacteria the these are your um your 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 peppers your jalapeno peppers um they're they're the the good things that you want from these healthy bacteria, such as, as I mentioned, short chain fatty acids, anti-inflammatory molecules, neurochemicals, and, and the list goes on. So when you combine prebiotics plus probiotics, you end up with good postbiotics, uh, which is very beneficial to your gut. Now I pulled this off of a research paper, just a quick summary of well, what, what is butyrate? Butyrate producers are much more important as they actively control the gut microbiome via various antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory molecules and by synthesizing vitamin B. Butyrate producing microbial communities inhibit cancer growth by secreting anti-carcinogenic substances and regulate tumor genesis via butyrate. Butyrate producers are promising next generation probiotics and their counts in the gut can be regulated by dietary in interventions to benefit the host. So again, uh, diet uh, supplements, and in some cases, probiotics are all things that, that can, uh, can increase something as beneficial as butyrate. So again, just to summarize, only four grams of HMO for a mere 23 days resulted in something very helpful for this consumer. Now, what I don't have information is if any symptoms have gone away, like I mentioned, my my asthma symptoms in all of my my testing of myself. That's been my main uh, symptom that, that I've noticed uh, improvement. So uh, it'd be interesting uh, to know if this consumer also had any relief of any symptoms. But uh, sometimes you, you just don't know. And 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 honestly, I'm not saying it doesn't matter. But if you are producing these kinds of good bacteria, whether or not you receive a, an immediate feedback of improved symptoms, it is better for your gut. It is better for your overall body health to see these kinds of increases in the good bacteria. So I think this is a remarkable result. And I, I, I've been using HMO for about three years and um, um, uh, I, I don't, my wife just asked me the other day, how long are you going to take HMO? And I said, probably <laughs> until my, my dying day. Uh, it's, it's been beneficial for me and hopefully it will be for you as well. Uh, thanks for watching.